10 days ago, we introduced our black soldier fly hatchlings into our containers and the boxes. And now we have fully grown, juicy black soldier fly lava. Wow, wow. This is what excites every black soldier fly farmer. My name is Martin Tenua, an expert and trainer in black soldier fly farming as a business. In today's video, I'm going to show you four simple and efficient methods of separating the black soldier fly lava from the residual material. This process is called harvesting. Before harvesting, there are three clear signs to show you that your lava is mature enough and ready to be harvested for fish, pigs, and poultry. One, the lava should be reared for about 10 to 14 days from the hatchery. Two, the mature larvae should have five to six instars, meaning it should be big enough in size. Three, the lava should be creamy white or yellowish in color, and the west usually has turned into dark brown color at the harvesting period. Now, let's look at the different methods of harvesting the black soldier fly lava. First, scoop the residual material, pour it on a container, and leave the chicken to pick up the lava by themselves as they feed. The chickens have actually sorted out all the larvae. I'm remaining with only frass. The second method is by using your hands. Continuously scrap off the top layer of the residue material from the container. The larvae will keep burrowing downwards and eventually the larvae will be collected at the bottom of the container. Method number three, scoop the residual material into a plastic sieve. Keep shaking the sieve. As you do this, the lava will be separated from the frass. The fourth method of lava harvesting, we are going to use a coffee tray mesh. This is made out of timber and also a coffee mesh. So you pour the lava onto this coffee tray mesh. You can see the substrate is wet. So the larvae is going to use its natural behavior to crawl away from the sun and fall through down to the surface. The four methods I have just showed you apply to beginners and small-scale lava producers. For medium-scale lava production, use an automated rotating sieve. And for the larger or commercial-scale lava producers, use an automated electric shaking sieve. To sustain the production, leave aside 10 to 20% of the lava during harvesting. The lava will grow into pupa, emerge into flies, lay eggs, and the production cycle will continue. We have finally separated our two products, the black soldier fly frass and the black soldier fly lava. In the coming video, I'm going to show you how to process the black soldier fly frass into an organic fertilizer and the black soldier fly lava into feed for poultry, fish, and pigs. For more information 
and knowledge on how you can succeed on your black soldier fly farming journey, visit our website. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.